really awkward sitting in front of a camera like that. Um, like this. But my local yarn shop is more or less going out of business. Like they're leaving their current location because the overhead is too much. Um, so yeah, they're downsizing, getting rid of a, all their stuff. Um, so I went and splurged with some of my tax money and uh, figured I would do a you know, shopping haul video thing since that seems to be super popular. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and I look like crap. I'm still in my pajamas. I don't really care. <laughs> um, yeah. So this I didn't get from them. I actually bought this on Etsy. Um, hot mint brand, finally, if you can see, can't tell. Um, gray bonfire, Jasper sock finger weight yarn, 437 yards, um, 70% merino, 20% yak, and I've never worked with yak, so that kind of made me really want to get it. And then 10% nylon. Probably gonna make a shawl or something with this. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, let's see. So I got two more hanks of this. Uh, I'm not positive what the brand is. It just says Andes. Made in Chile. Color number 20. Yeah. So I bought a hank of this a while back. I haven't used it yet, but when I first saw it, I immediately thought of Iron Man. So I was going to make you know, a pair of mittens or something, but now that I have two more, I'm either going to make something bigger or several pairs of mittens. I'm not quite sure yet. That's really exciting. Um, it's 100% wool. 165 yards each. Um, I've got little chainmail bracelet kit thing that I was eyeing for a while pretty much every time I went in there for the past few times and it, it's like 20 bucks each I'm like eh maybe not but figure why not this time <laughs> and a couple of feathers feathery things, actual feathers, not just feathery things, um, for when I decide I feel like making dream catchers, which I do sometimes. This is good. Okay. It's really pretty and subtle and I love it. Good enough for two of them at least. Two dream catchers. Um, doesn't say anything about where they from. And then of course I got more sort of a suede lace to wrap the hoops in. And four little mini hoops because easier to do them. Nice to have uh, a stock, I guess, of, of dream catchers. Yeah, word. Um, some random little silver skull beads for when I make uh, bracelets. Make my paper bead bracelets. Doesn't say. Kind of my um, and a little random pendant and more uh, little little uh, stitch markers because I seem to only have big ones left and I, I like the small ones sometimes. Um, let's see. That's all kind of 
It made me think of a uh, Sailor Uranus. 80% wool, 10% camel, 10% silk. And again, I've never really worked with camel, so what the hell. Um, can't quite tell how many yards it is. Because there's a comma in there, and there's not usually commas with for Americans. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the brand name. Um, and then I got three more of these variegated green uh, cascade brands. 40% wool, 60% acrylic, but it's really soft. Um, I actually made um, a while back, I did a green dragon scale sort of scarf with this specific yarn. Um, as part of my Mortal Kombat line of scarves, which I haven't actually ever really finished. Um, but I got, you know, all the major guys. Katana, Milana, Melina, sorry. Scorpion, um, Reptile. And I only have one of those Reptile scarves, so I figured just get some more yarn and make another one so I at least have two that I can sell off. I'm really excited about that. I got two of these apparently. I didn't realize <laughs> or didn't remember. Um, no. And some more beading wire for bracelets. You can always use that. Little nibs. Because um, I am slowly working on learning calligraphy. I don't practice all that regularly or anything, unfortunately. But, you know, having more nibs is, is kind of nice. They were like 99 cents for all of these. So, just. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, you can see that. This one's really interesting. It's got like a little back piece to it. Um, well, I guess that comes off. I'm not sure it's supposed to. Another similar one. I like the shape to this one. I suppose I can't really see it against the henna. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, they mostly look the same, but yeah, more nibs. And a big old pack of crafty threads for friendship bracelets, things like that. There's a bunch of colors in here. Looks like three of each. 36 skeins all together. Should be neat. I haven't actually worked on anything like that in a while, so that might be... And then finally, I've got these Micron pens. I see them a lot on Instagram. Um, fine line, Earth Colors, Archival Ink, Sakura Brands, uh, 0.45. 0.45 millimeters. Um, yeah, I've seen them all over the place. I do the whole bullet journey thing, as you can probably see in uh, YouTube. <laughs> I've got a couple different bullet journal ones. Um, yeah, I haven't actually tried these yet, so nice fine tip there. this out, if I can find the page for it, what color is this, so 
somewhat like a marker, somewhat like a pen. It's very thin. Right there. Let's see. It's kind of a weird brown color. Try this one. Bluish gray. Yeah, new pens are always nice. Um, I'm gonna have to get a new pen case for all my different... I don't have a huge collection yet, but there's different ones I want to try just for the hell of it kind of thing. That's my budget. Um, I will be posting one, uh, another Bujo video for my March setup at some point. Um, hopefully before too long, too far into March. Um, so yeah, that's my crafty yarn shop haul.